Today is training number 245. I want you to write the topic titled down, Building Through Tools. Go ahead and write that down, Building Through Tools. And for anyone that wants access uh, to today's presentation, the PDF copy, I want you to go to my Instagram right now. Let me know that you want to get access to the PDF as well as the video. Again, today is Building Through Tools, how to use tools to grow your business. So let's go ahead and get right into this. First of all, why use the tools? Well, the number one reason why people fail in network marketing and in this business is really a lack of duplication. Um, not everyone is a born marketer, okay? I, I know for myself, ever since I was young, I was very good at advertising information, marketing stuff, sharing stuff. So for me, it's almost like it's within me to do that, right? But not everyone is born that way. And so the reason why I like using tools is because tools create duplication. Tools are something that can run 24 seven, whereas a human being cannot. You know, we need sleep. Tools can run all hours of the day. So people need to hear information from a source other than you. I think a lot of you can relate to this. When you take this to people that you know, online, offline, family, friends, coworkers, et cetera, sometimes it's a messenger problem, okay? The messenger matters to people. For example, if they hear it from me, who they don't know, but you are the person who invites and you have a different messenger that maybe has had a lot of success, whether it's with trading, building the business, having success in general alone, they're probably gonna be more willing to hear it than if it was from a person who that they know, who that they know their past, and maybe who has not had success yet. And that's the key. So that's why third party validation is so absolutely critical. And this is why I say the messenger makes a difference. Tools are duplicatable, people are not. We've already talked about that. Tools create growth. So small teams only become big teams once duplication is made possible through tools. I can tell you right now, the biggest teams in this company and in this industry, it's all about the tools. It's not about the leader. It's not just about the chairman or the top educators and stuff like that. There are teams that are moving very, very fast. I could name you several of them right now, but I'm not going to. Several teams are moving very fast. Guess what? They are system and tools reliant. And I'm gonna repeat that. They are system and tools reliant, okay? They don't have to be doing all the presentations. The tools and the system do it. The webinars, the funnels, the videos, the Zoom calls. It is a system that is running 24 seven. Again, that's what creates duplication. Think about your average McDonald's. The average McDonald's is run by young kids because they have a system, they have a model where it, it doesn't matter if you're in China, Utah, California, or Canada, it's pretty much run the same. Not all of them, but pretty much. They have a system in place. It's very predictable. You want to be able to have the same thing and plug in the same team. So your job is simply this, as part of the tools to be, I always tell people you've got to be system and tools driven. That's the type of marketer, that's the type of leader that you are. Your job is to what? Especially in the beginning, your job is to invite. It's not to give all the details. I always tell people you're the messenger not the message you are the trailer not the movie so again your job is to invite your job is not to give all the details you simply invite people to check out what you're doing you don't have people who are asking for all the details and then you now become that person who has to give all the details okay all right let the tools do the majority of the work for you this is key in the past i used to do everything myself and guess what when i first started my team did not grow fast i was the messenger <laughs> i was the message i was doing all the above right i was doing all the training i was doing all the presenting but guess what eventually you get worn out once you start building a team big enough you can't do that because that doesn't duplicate down to the team so the tools do the majority of the work to this very day, when people ask me what I do and I tell them I trade, I get them to watch a video or a webinar. If anyone contacts me online today, ask them for information, that's what I do. Same thing in person. If they ask me what I do, I'm gonna give them a quick teaser and then I want them to watch video because what I'm doing 
is I'm actually training them and they don't know it. They realize that, wow, that was actually simpler than I thought. He didn't explain everything to me, which means I don't need to explain everything to people either. Okay, so that part is very, very critical. So, so here's the process. Number one, step one is to pique their interest. This is important. I say the word pique. Now, peak, you could do P-E-E-K or P-E-A-K or P-I-Q-U-E. Peak their interest. You have to think of it like a movie trailer. It is not meant to give all the details. Your key, your goal is to peak their interest. Step number two is you want to send them to like, I send them to what is I'm.info. It's a system I put together. It's a funnel I put together. I send them to what is I am dot info. That is a presentation website where I can tell them, go right there, watch a quick overview, and this will give you all the details. Okay. Now, step three is that I follow up with them within 24 hours. And the reason why I do that is if you don't follow up quick, they're going to forget all about it anyway. So here's what I say. And you could use your own words, but you just say, hey, look, it was great to connect with you. I wanted to get back with you on what you like most about the video. I don't even ask them if they watched it. I just say, hey, I just wanted to get back with you on what you liked most about the video. I will follow up with them quickly. I want to create a sense of urgency. Now, you don't want to chase people. You do want to have posture. So you don't want to have to follow up with them two, three, four times. But you do want to follow up. I actually, in, in fact, speaking of that, I only follow up twice. After the second time I fall, they don't respond. They haven't watched the video. I'm going to move on. That's a key, to, a critical thing because again, you don't want to chase people. You do want to have posture, but I just use a simple light approach. Hey, it was great to connect with you. Great to talk. Want to get back, you know, find out what you like best about the video. Okay. All right. Now, step four is you answer questions. Okay. They're going to have questions. What's the cost again? Uh, what are my chances of success? How many people are winning? You know, that kind of stuff. Maybe use a three-way call, three-way Zoom, close the deal. That's where the person that is on your success team that can help you close the deal. Again, sometimes you need help. I tell people, if you want to build a great organization, use the system. Use the upline leadership that is already having success that can help you get more people involved because they're going to lend the credibility that maybe you don't have yet. And the key word is yet you are going to gain the credibility just because you're a doctor doesn't mean you're going to have success in this business. That's completely different than being a doctor. So they need to hear it from someone other than yourself that is having success. And that will give you that third party credibility. This is why I say being resourceful. It's not the lack of resources. It's a lack of being resourceful. Guys, the resources are here. You have the videos, you have the webinar, you got the system, you have the funnels, all of it is there, but you've got to use the resources. It's there. Everything is there for you guys to, su to succeed, but you need desire. You need consistency. You need to use the tools. The tools are there. The question is how many eyeballs are you getting on the presentation? How many times are you getting two to five people per day that you're contacting online and offline to look at what we're doing? Are you getting a minimum of one person a day to check out what we're doing? That is the real question because it is a numbers game. I'm attracting more and more people to my team every day because I'm exposing online and offline. Guys, if you want this PDF, if you want the recording, go to Brandon Boyd Official on Instagram. Tell me that you want to get the PDF and you want to get the video. I'm going to give you guys a copy of this today. The whole goal, my friends, why I put this together is to help you guys succeed inside of this industry. And the best way you're going to succeed, number one, is to become the best leader that you can, personally develop, right? But number two is to use a system, be, be tools and system reliant. I do it. So success leaves clues. I could tell them all the details about trading in the business comp, but I could do it in my sleep. I still use the tools. That's what duplicates. And that's what's going to help you grow faster and build a better residual income. Guys, with that, this is Brandon Boyd signing off. This is training number 245. Topic again, building through tools. We will see you on next week's session. Have a good day, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.